Graduates, family, and friends, welcome to the 179th Commencement Ceremony at Black Hill State University. I'm Steve Meeker, Vice President of University Advancement. Today's Commencement Ceremony is the first online gathering in its history at BHSU to mark this occasion. Today we are joined by President Lori Nichols, Regent John Bastian, and Congressman Dusty Johnson. And now, the singing of our national anthem, performed by Amy Hahn from the class of 2020. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's It is now my pleasure to introduce to you the 11th president of Black Hills State University, Dr. Lori Nichols. Good afternoon. I want to thank all of our graduates and their families who have joined us today. Congratulations, graduates. I truly wish we were assembled together at the Young Center having a festive graduation in person. Instead, we find ourselves social distancing and having a ceremony for you online. I apologize that at this significant and joyous time, your celebration has been greatly changed. I hope you know that in many ways, we are even prouder of you as you have weathered a very sudden and strange spring semester. Thank you for rising to the occasion. And I do want to also extend an invitation to each of you to join us at our December commencement ceremony if you can. The ceremony is scheduled for December 12th at 10.30 a.m. at the Young Center. If you plan to attend, please let our registrar's office know and they will add you to our participation list and fill you in on details. Please know you are welcome. We would love to see you there. Despite our unprecedented times, your day has arrived. All those years of hard work and perseverance have paid off. Today, you become a college graduate where you join about one third of all adults in the United States who hold a bachelor's degree or beyond. Your deg degree will open doors to opportunities that you can't even imagine today. It certainly did for me. I am so excited for your future and all the possibilities that you will realize. Becoming a college graduate is a distinction in our society that sets you apart from many others. And that distinction comes because our society values education. Evidence suggests that college graduates are not only highly employable, but they, are also, they also enrich the civic and economic life of their communities as they volunteer, provide community leadership, or make philanthropic contributions. As Nelson Mandela said, 
education is the most powerful tool which you can use to change the world. Today, with the degree in hand, your ability to make our world a better place becomes much greater. As hard as you have worked on earning this degree, you didn't get here alone. Your family has been a great source of support to you throughout these college years. And in a reciprocal fashion, your achievement has provided inspiration and hope to your family. So graduates, I'm going to ask you to seek out your family and loved ones. They may be with you now, or you may need to do this over the weekend. But regardless of your circumstance, when you can, give them a big hug, or at least a resounding high five, and thank them for the love and support they have provided to you. Within our graduating class, I want to recognize one of our graduates, Tate Jackson. Tate is a valued student leader in the ROTC program, and tomorrow will participate in a commissioning ceremony as an infantry second lieutenant in the United States Army. We're so proud of you, Tate. Congratulations, and thank you for your service to our country. Graduates, there are two words that are commonly used on days like today. One is graduation, and the other is commencement. Graduation signifies the end, the finish line. It celebrates the fact that you have successfully completed this phase of your education and bring closure to this chapter of your life. Graduation says, woohoo, you're done, we made it. Commencement, on the other hand, signifies the starting gate, the beginning of a new life. It says that you are transitioning from the past to the future. Commencement celebrates that the best part of your life is ahead of you. Both term, terms are most appropriate today, and both are very meaningful. But today, I choose to leave you with my congratulations on your commencement, your beginning, your future is bright. You have ability, passion, and a commitment to make a difference. And as Yellow Jackets, graduates of this great university, I know that wherever you go, you will carry your alma mater with you and represent us well. Congratulations, graduates, on commencement, on all of the bright and beautiful possibilities in store for you. It is my pleasure now to introduce to you our keynote speaker, Congressman Dusty Johnson. Hello, Black Hill State graduates. Now, I know what you're thinking sitting there watching this video, seeing a gentleman in his mid-40s getting older every day, quite pale, less than 150 pounds. You're thinking that Dusty Johnson, physically, he is perfect. Now, I... Uh, I hate to destroy your expectations, uh, but of course I am not physically perfect. And I'll, I'll show you some evidence to prove the fact. Uh, this big scar right here on my chin, I got that uh, as a teenager after hours um, at night, saw the police, was concerned about getting picked up for a curfew violation, so I ran, hit a retaining wall, cut open my chin. This one, the smaller scar, I got this one in middle school, uh, messing around with somebody who's a lot bigger than I was. That's not that hard to, to be bigger than I am. This one, this is a particularly nasty one. I got this one taking a shortcut, climbing over a tall chain link fence. And as I got to the top, about ready to drop down to the other side, part of the, the sharp point of the wire cut into the fat part of my hand and ripped it right open. Now, some of those stories, I could give you the longer versions. Uh, some of them are funny, some of them are sad. Some of these scars I deserved, others happened just because. And every morning when I look in the mirror, I could let these scars be a reminder to me that the world has not always treated me like I wanted it to, and that along the way I have made some bad decisions. I could, I could cause these to make me sad, but that kind of mourning isn't productive. A whole ocean full of tears wouldn't make my face perfect again. So instead, I let these scars, these marks, these imperfections be a reminder that I have experienced life. And although I haven't always been as skillful or as graceful or as lucky 
as I wanted to be when dealing with what the world threw at me. I have not let those challenges or those scars, marks, and imperfections keep me down, and that is worth celebrating. I, I can't sit here and tell you that your last few months at Black Hill State University have been perfect. The reality is our whole country has a new collection of scars and marks and imperfections, and your educational experience has not escaped that. But nevertheless, today is a day we're celebrating, as all graduation days are. This new collection of scars, marks, and imperfections we all have are not, by and large, visible, but the central lesson is the same. They should remind us that we have experienced life. And although we have not been as skillful or as graceful or as lucky uh, in dealing with the world, we have not let these challenges, these scars, marks, and imperfections, you have not let them keep you down. And so congratulations, graduates. This is a major accomplishment. Oh, and before I let you go, of course, I want to say go Black Hill State. Thanks, everybody. We are privileged to have Regent John Bashton, who will bring greetings from the South Dakota Board of Regents. It's an honor to greet you on behalf of the South Dakota Board of Regents. The board joins your families and your friends today in commending and congratulating you on your hard work in earning a university degree. The board also thanks you for your commitment to South Dakota public higher education. The state and the nation and the world will benefit from the success that you achieved here. A college degree is unique. It's one of the few things that once earned is never diminished and can never be taken away. 30, 40, 50 years from now, you will have the degree that you earn today. And most importantly, you'll be able to look back on the tangible and intangible rewards that your degree continued hard work, and a commitment to lifelong lear learning has bestowed. So it is indeed an honor to be with you today. The poet Robert Frost once said that home is the place where when you have to go there, they have to take you in. Soon you will be alumni. Please remember that Black Hills State University is home, and you will always be welcome when you return. A former member of the Board of Regents referred to this part of the program as, as one that should have a short beginning, a short ending, and not much in between. So in that spirit, and with the authority vested in me by the Constitution of the State of South Dakota, I delegate to President Nichols the authority to award degrees and diplomas with the attendant rights, privileges, and responsibilities. I now present candidates for master's degrees. Stephanie Marie Allen. Levy Dawn Big Crow. Jamie Lee Betcher. Stephanie Carroll. Sarah J. Chapman. Elise Dewar, Katie Lee Dibburn, Christopher Lee Duden, Demi Dumars, Paige Lindsay Elbigen, Molly Nicole Erickson. Jalyn Fenninger, Aaron Nicholas Fennell, Lynette M. Fitzgerald, Rebecca Griffin, Kylie Gross, Stephanie Harris, Amanda Hupp, 
Patrick Hunter. Mallory Jones. Monique A. Conrad. Raquel Kopek. Kyle Dawn Lawson. Michaela Brianne McCraw. Christina Maria McDaniel. Lila May Melhoff. Christina Merrill. Victoria Moore. Steve Morris. Rhiannon Lee Patterson. Emily J. Feifel. Adam J. Pilgrim. Sarah Catherine Pioski. Bethany Ann Raymond. Kelsey Ruzica. Barbara Elaine Scruggs Warren. Kylie M. Stever. Amber Marie Taylor. Nicole Marie Valenzuela. Raynell John Watkins. Tibor Vladimir Wood Crosby. Megan M. Young. I now present candidates from the University Honors Program. Carissa Marielle Deming. Summa cum laude. Elizabeth M. Foss. Summa cum laude. Samantha Renee Ray. I now present candidates for the bachelor's degree in the College of Business and Natural Sciences. Kyle C. Allen. Elizabeth Pearl Andresen. Zachary A. Archer. David Joseph Beadle. Rachel Lynn Becker. Daniel Jonathan Bochert. Micah Stephen Bransford. Matthew J. Brenner. Antonio Vincent Capley. Bethany Leanne Case. Aji Tyler Seplica. Kayla Lynn Chadwick. Anne Renee Ciccarello. Brennan Alicius Clark. Trevor D. Clark. Charlotte M. Clausen, cum laude. Cassidy S. Cobb. Hannah Noel Craft. Daniel C. Crossman, magna cum laude. Luke N. DeGeest, magna cum laude. Marcella G. DeHaan. Stefan Desnica, cum laude. Dominique Rachel DiMana. Nicholas J. Dunn. Amy Margaret Felicia. Rachel Ann Geyer, magna cum laude. Lee E. Jerry. Callie L. Glaze. Karsten J. Gehring. Sierra Marie Goergen, cum laude. Melissa Golden. 
Christina May Good, Jamie Leonard Gray, Lindsay Ann Gross, Joseph V. Gullia, magna cum laude, Brock J. Hansen, Opal Joy Harkins, Chase J. Harmon, Taylor James Hep, Tristan Dean Hep, Cassie R. Hicks, Ty D. Hill, cum laude, Morgan L. Hofelt, Corey Michael Hopfer, summa cum laude, Regina Diane Ruska, cum laude, Danielle Christine Husaby, Joseph W. Irvin, Caitlin Diane Kelly, magna cum laude, Krista Marie Keriutis, Noah Thomas Koekeritz, Abby Rose LaCroix, Kenneth Ralph Langenbau, Laurel E. Leck, Joshua Tyler Legant, Randy L. Lewis, Sam Cody Lockhart, cum laude, Brock Thomas Loftus, Joni R. Luders, cum laude, Jason John Manning, Nicole Laura McCourt, Kyle James McGuire, Ryan Edward Mahalik, Noah J. Maiman, Rose Jungsook Miller, cum laude, Katie M. Mogan, Anthony Wayne Morris, summa cum laude, Jacob R. Mueller, Connor Jacob Nyan, Catherine J. Nielsen, summa cum laude, Sierra Lee Nix, Andriana Dominic Ray Matias Ortiz, Ian S. Osborne, Zoe Ann Osmotherly, Sydney Renee Owen, Colin D. Palmer, summa cum laude, Nicholas Peter Pappas, Jacob P. Phelan, cum laude, Dustin Lee Price, Kylan Judith Price, Jaylise Raymond, cum laude, Bailey Dean Rosenstrock, magna cum laude, Susan Elizabeth Roth, cum laude, Kyle J. Schlutner, summa cum laude, Kaylee Marie Schmidt, summa cum laude, Teresa Marie Schnettner, Samantha Jordan Schoen, Chase Brandon Smith, Karen Louise Springer, Sydney M. Stotts, Stephen R. Swan, Abigail M. Switzer, cum laude, 
Austin Jacob Troop. Joshua Nicholas Vaith. Jarrett Reese Vandermey. Tana Jill Vollmer, cum laude. Gabrielle Lou Wong. Janae Elizabeth Welbig. I now present candidates for the College of Education and Behavioral Sciences. Taylor Page Aker, magna cum laude. Candace A. Omdahl, summa cum laude. Kenesha Alice Bach. Abigail Faye Bertram. Kendall Marie Bethke. McKaylee Ray Betcher. Melissa Ray Betcher. Zoe Garnett Bigley, cum laude. Janae M. Bjorgum. Kaylee Marie Bjorkstrand, summa cum laude. Natasha L. Bogner. Tanner A. Bond. Mary L. Bowman. Ashley D. Brabeck. Taylor Lynn Brindley. Taylor Michael P. Boos. Kylie J. Christensen. Kelly M. Klim, cum laude. Shaley Joe Curran. Leticia J. Daniels. Dana L. Davenport Dixon. Alexandra Wendell Derwin. Nathan Glenn DeWitt. Juan A. Diaz de Leon. Nicholas J. Dyson. Tara Jean Eddington, cum laude. Peyton C. Egebrecht. Summer R. Eisenbraun, cum laude. Adam C. Else, magna cum laude. Ellie May Falcon, cum laude. Abby A. Frederick. Michaela Janine French. Brittany Elizabeth Freed, magna cum laude. Coulter Ray Fuller, cum laude. Kelsey Faye Gamble. Christina Renee Geisy, summa cum laude. Kayla Ann Gilbert, magna cum laude. Cassidy Nan Getz. Taylor Jean Gottlob, summa cum laude. Molly J. Grazer, cum laude. Jaden Hunter Gregg. Austin James Hagen, Sarah Elaine Haddle, magna cum laude, Kristen Marie Hausman, summa cum laude, Connor F. Heaney, Rachel Elaine Ann Hopperdeitzel, summa cum laude, Caitlin Grace Huska, magna cum laude, Corey James Hyde, magna cum laude. Kevin L. Isley. Tate Dalton Jackson, magna cum laude. Mesa River Jacobson. Tawny Lynn Janice. Jenny Marie Jensen. 
Nathan L. Jensen. Clay B. Johnson. John T. Cashmitter. Jennifer M. Keller Bradford. Angela Ray Knisbill. Seth R. Cover. Rachel Arlene Kramer, summa cum laude. Rachel Ann Laubach. Angela R. Legate. Chantal Lavette Lewis. Jennifer Lynette Little. Alyssa Jean Lockhart, summa cum laude. Madison Taylor London. Maria G. Lopez. Krista Ann Mack. Katie Lee MacArthur, magna cum laude. Morgan Virginia Melhoff, magna cum laude. Megan Elaine Meyer. Haley Marie Miller, magna cum laude. Ariana Margaret Nelson, magna cum laude. Jade Lynn Nguyen. Mary R. Nobel, magna cum laude. Cade F. Noble. Danielle K. Noble. Kendall R. O'Hara, summa cum laude. Delaney Faith Pagel. Nicholas James Palco, cum laude. Hannah Wagner. Jana Lynn Pelletier, cum laude. Amber Frankie Kiaha Kula Ona Lani Purie. Abigail L. Rusat, summa cum laude. Allie Marie Romero. Catherine Marie Saylor. Bobby Nicole Schaefbauer. Danae L. Schilling. Jessica Elizabeth Schumann. Paige Alexandria Shermans. Jamie Daniels Chazettes, cum laude. Courtney Jane Shearer, cum laude. Lynn D. Salama. Dylan Bruce Smith. Garrett Levi Snook, magna cum laude. Lacey J. Spradling. Zachary Rushmore Stanford. Audra Ann Strong. Jacqueline M. Stroop. Matthew J. Swisher, cum laude. Jordan R. Thiessen, cum laude. Philip P. Thomas. Tess Haley Thomas, magna cum laude. Cheyenne Hunter Varga. Brianna P. Voigt, magna cum laude. Kiana Joe Ward, summa cum laude. Kaylin Jennifer Witted. Ashley K. Wilcox, summa cum laude. Justin Lamar Woodward. Dylan V. Wright. Glenford D. Yellowrobe, Jr. I now present the candidates for the bachelor's degree in the College of Liberal Arts. Christopher Kelly Baker. Wyatt L. Bills. 
Jacob I. Blair, Tyler Michael Block, Molly Ann Bowler, cum laude, Bradley Ward Buckholtz, Allison Grace Bucks, Holly Joy Burley, Elijah D. E. Bush, Callie C. Carey, Ethan M. Charmom, Star Toke Chief Eagle, McKenna Ann Colburn, Robert Michael Cowan, Magna Cum Laude, Robert A. Creesman, Jessica Danelle Deal, Bailey E. Dill, Michael Lowell Durham, Leo Miguel Dykstra, Abraham Jensen Fish, Peyton S. Fleming, Shay B. Flom, Yasmin Leanne Foos, Andres Sebastian Gordon, Adrian Shea Gossard, Amy M. Hahn, Ashley Renee Hahn, Magna Cum Laude, Haley Ann Hensick, Cum Laude, Elizabeth Brooke Harms, Cum Laude, Destiny Jane Marie Harris, Kelsey Jean Hendrickson, Cum Laude, Nichols Reed Hubbard, Taylor R. Hudson, Alyssa A. Jorgensen, Emily Page Keller, Cum Laude, Berkeley Sky Kennefec Ashoft, Sadie May Kinslow, Jessica Lynn Kirby, Magna Cum Laude, Austin Paul Kessler, Cum Laude, Triona Tay Solvi, Tori Ardith Lauer, Amber M. Lorius, Michael C. Marshall, Keith M. Marson, Danny M. Merritt, Cum Laude, Orlando Munoz, Ashley Brooke Nickel, Frank Janice Nightpipe, Leslie R. Knuckles, Tyler J. Oliver, Daisa S. Winfeather, Olivia N. Papernick, Cum Laude, Elizabeth H. Pendergraf, Jenna G. Piper, Sarah Jean Ponwith, Cum Laude, Sarah Ann N. Remus, Vivian Grace Riddinger, Cum Laude, Deanne Fay Roby Whitney, Cheyenne Jordan Rost, Morgan C. Sattler, Joshua John Sluisner, James David Schrader, David Azidi Scott, 
Carly Rachel Sisson, cum laude. Derek Wayne Skillingstad. Tiffany Storm Stewart. Alyssa Kaylee Strobel. Zachary D. Tenhave. Margaret Joan Tornis, cum laude. Kathleen Ann Young. I now present candidates for the associate's degree. Anita N. Akers, with honor. Cheryl Badwound. Alexis Firo Berry. Petra B. Bredberg. Nicole Denise Carrier. Travis Wayne Erickson. Mariah Susan Fisher. Sherelle N. Hawk. Michaela M. Huffman. Brianna Brooke Johnson. Marinique Linnell Major. Whitney Miranda McBride. Leah Rose McCaskill. Brianna Marie Morrison. Jennifer L. Opbrook. Erica Alyssa Rikes. Micah Joe Sheffbauer with highest honor. Lauren Lee Sheffers. Brittany Ray Stretmeyer with highest honor. Casey Jane Van Vleck. Jenna L. Whirlwind Horse. Academic traditions such as the symbolism of the tassel are steeped in history. Moving the tassel to the left after graduating is symbolic of moving from college to another stage of life. It is my privilege to ask our graduates, please move your tassel from the right to left, signifying you are now a graduate of Black Hill State University. Congratulations, graduates. I have the honor to bring alumni greetings to you from the Alumni Association. I'm a proud graduate from the class of 1984, and I want to congratulate you and welcome you to our association. These are difficult times for all of us as we hear about the spread of COVID-19 from all over the world. The most common emotion faced by all is fear. It makes us anxious, panicky, and can even possibly make us do things that might seem inappropriate during normal times. I want to remind you that we will get through this and return to normal so that you can take the next step in your life. BHSU's faculty have helped prepare you for that next step in life. Barring some long shot miracle, like the blood test results are in, and it turns out that you're Warren Buffett's kid, you now either get to go to work or continue your schooling. The great Vince Lombardi once said that the only place success comes, comes before work is in the dictionary. Dig in class of 2020 and make us all proud. You're now in an elite group, and you are well prepared for success. You are now a member of a BHSU alumni community of over 17,000 strong in all 50 states, the District of Columbia, as well as 25 countries. You spent two to five years as students, well actually some of you may be six or seven years, and now I want to encourage you to spend the rest of your life as active alumni. I invite you to stay connected through volunteer service and social events. You can grow your professional network by attending BHSU alumni events in your region or joining BHSU's social media community. You can also recommend BHSU to future students or lobby legislators when higher education needs your assistance. 
I also encourage you, once you experience that success, to provide financial assistance for future students to attend Black Hill State. In closing, in the midst of the Great Depression in 1932, Franklin D. Roosevelt encouraged young graduates at Oglethorpe University to rise to the challenges of their time. Yours is not the task of making your way in the world, but the task of remaking the world, which you will now find before you. I offer you my personal congratulations, my respect, and best wishes. Thank you for viewing our virtual graduation. Be safe, be well, and let's all reach higher together.